Hello students, welcome to OTC. This video will cover navigating a Canvas course, how to submit an assignment, how to post to a discussion board, and how to view feedback from your instructor. If you're a welding student, your course might look like this, or maybe it'll look like this. If you're a culinary student, your class might look like this or this. If you're a drafting student, you might see something like this or this. If you're an EMP student, you might see something like this. And if you're an ECD student, you're certain to see a lot of adorable kiddos. No matter what your course looks like, there are a few important facts you should know about. First of all, you should check the announcements regularly. That's where your instructor will post important updates about the course. At the beginning of the semester, you should also check the syllabus area. Some instructors require you to sign a syllabus agreement, and the syllabus contains important information about class guidelines, grading policies, and other important information. The other important area you should know about is modules. Most courses have your instructional content set up in modules. Here, you'll find learning material, quizzes, assignments, and other resources. Let's take a closer look at the content in this module. We'll click on the first page. Here we can see information from the instructor, including the learning objectives. They've attached a PowerPoint, which we can preview in Canvas, or click on the title to download. There's also a list of key terms here at the bottom. We can click next to get to the next item down in the module. The next item is an assignment. Next is a document. We can see the document right on the screen, but we can also download it by clicking on the title and we can save it to our computer. Now let's take a look at submitting an assignment in Canvas. First, let's go to our modules. Let's locate our assignment. After we've carefully read the instructions and completed the work, we can submit it using the Submit Assignment button and then searching for the file which contains our work. We'll select the file, we'll click Open, and then we can make comments for the instructor. If we have multiple files, we can always attach another And when we're ready, we'll click Submit Assignment. You'll see that your assignment was submitted, and you'll see when it was submitted and what files were attached. You can also resubmit if you accidentally submit the same file twice. Now let's look at posting to a discussion board. We might access discussions through a module, or we might go straight to the discussions using the discussion link in the course menu. Let's select the discussion we want to post to. After carefully reading the discussion prompt, we'll click Reply and compose our answer. When we're ready, we'll click Post Reply. If we want to reply to a classmate, we'll click the Reply link below their post. Now let's take a look at viewing feedback from your instructor. Let's start in the Grades area. First, let's look at feedback on an assignment item. You'll know your instructor has left comments for you by the speech bubble icon. If you click there, you'll be able to see general comments. However, if you navigate to the assignment itself and click view feedback, you'll be able to see other comments. An instructor might make a comment at a specific point in your work. They may also highlight content and leave a comment, or they might even strike through some of your text and leave a comment for revision. On the right-hand side, you'll see general feedback. You can even reply to these comments with comments of your own. Now, let's look at feedback on a quiz. Again, you'll see the speech bubble indicating that comments have been left. Clicking on that will expand the general feedback. But again, let's look at the specific feedback on this item by clicking on the title. Here, we can see there might be feedback on individual questions in a quiz. If we've attached a document as part of our quiz question, there won't be the same markup comments that we saw in the assignments. General comments will still appear here on the right, 
And again, you'll be able to reply to those comments. That's Canvas in a nutshell. Have a good semester.